Hi, I'm Tom Horn with AOPA Pilot Magazine, and today we're going to start this PT-6 engine. We're at Black Hawk Aerospace, and they use a lot of PT-6 engines in their inversions. It's the most popular engine out there. There's about 45,000 of them. So, if you're going to be around a turboprop, you're probably around a PT-6. Now, the Pratt & Whitney PT-6 engine is an old school engine. We're going to have to go through several different steps in order to make sure there's a safe start. Because if we put too much gas in at the wrong time, we can blow this thing up, set fire to it. After the pre-flight and pre-start checklists, the first thing is to check the battery voltage. You want at least 23 volts, and we do, with 24 volts showing on the overhead gauge. This will help ensure you have enough power to turn the engine fast enough to create the volume of airflow needed for a safe, controlled ignition of the fuel-air mixture in the combustion chamber. The left engine start again. Right? All right. Here we go. We'll start the left engine first. Clear the area, then turn on the left ignition and start switch. It's a spring-loaded toggle switch that engages both the starter and the igniters in the combustion chamber. Grab the left condition lever, it's more of an on-off fuel valve, and simultaneously hold the start switch up. Watch the NG gauge rise. This shows the rotation speed of the compressor section. This means air is being drawn through the engine, which is good. You want the gauge to show at least 13% NG, at which point you move the condition lever forward to the first low idle position. Now, fuel is being pumped into the combustion chamber. Keep holding that start switch up because we want the NG to reach the 50% mark. That's when we disengage the starter, let it spring back to the off position, and turn on the left engine's generator. The whole time we focus on the ITT gauge. It shows the temperature in the combustion chamber and it should be rising slowly at this point. And it is which is also good. The engine has lit off. Watch to see if the ITT needle exceeds the start red line. If it does, you're having the dreaded hot start, meaning the temperatures are out of control. You've exceeded the engine's temperature limits and engine damage could occur. That's why the ITT gauge is called the resume gauge. A hot start can end your days as a turbine pilot for hire. Well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. As you saw, you have several different steps that you have to go through, and you have to master the flow pattern that goes with it. And that's the way it is every time you start a PT6 engine. 